you struggle with the former hierarchy in life to the cubism? Let's fix that. Life to D has two basic deformers. A warp deformer, which is used to warp objects around, and a rotation deformer, which is used to rotate objects. A deformer which is directly above a mesh will deform that mesh directly. Any deformer that is not directly above a mesh will instead deform the deformer below it. The order of these deformers is what is referred to as the deformer hierarchy. Okay, so we have a baseline understanding of what deformer hierarchy is. But how exactly do we use it? And what do we need to pay attention to? Let's have a look at a few examples and see what it's all about. Let's start off simple. The biggest movement should always be at the top of a hierarchy. Here we have two deformers and respective parameters. One moves the head from side to side, and one moves the face up and down. If the deformer that moves the face up and down is higher up in the hierarchy, then moving the head to the side will cause the deformer not to work properly. It is trying to influence this area, which is right below it, but since the deformer below isn't in that area anymore, it cannot work properly anymore. If we move the deformer that moves the head higher up in the hierarchy, then moving the head will not interfere with the face movement anymore. Rotation deformers are notorious for breaking deformer hierarchy if they're placed lower down and such. This is because the warp deformers above it attempt to, of course, do their own deformation, but because they can only affect the rotation position of the deformer, their movement will no longer work properly. Thankfully, this is an easy fix. Simply create a new warp deformer below your rotation deformer. Then we'll select this rotation deformer and go to Modeling, Deformer, and apply deformer to child elements. This will rid you of the rotation deformer, and we'll use the warp deformer as its replacement and apply all movement of the rotation deformer hat to this new warp deformer. You should also make sure that the deformers themselves that are higher up in the hierarchy aren't smaller than the ones that are lower down in the hierarchy. Otherwise, you might end up with some weird deformations that don't quite make sense at all the angles. This is also an easy fix. Simply increase the size of your deformer and all the angles will look better. 